With our tool, it's fast and easy to implement feedback. In the last video, we sent an email to our clients. In that email, they'll find a link to the customer portal, which will bring them directly to the website draft where they can leave their feedback. Now, let's pose as the client. If we click the feedback tool, we're taken to a fully functioning version of the website. Remember, the feedback tool is only available for our clients in specific statuses, like feedback. So we need to make sure to set the website status accordingly. Customers can leave notes and requests directly on specific elements, making feedback clear and easy to follow. Hovering over an element will highlight it. Type a comment, then click Add. On the left side of the screen is an activity log of all the notes and feedback that's been added. To make things easy when leaving feedback across various devices, we can click the desktop, tablet, or phone icon and leave feedback for a specific device. Within the activity timeline, the small icon of a desktop, tablet, or phone will show where the feedback was left. Now, once the client has finished adding feedback, the next step is to quickly and seamlessly make all requested revisions. Usually revisions are challenging because client comments are unclear and require a lot of back and forth. But with our tool, it's fast and easy to implement feedback. Let's head back to the manager to see how to make the requested edits. When a customer leaves a comment, we'll be notified with a ticket. If we click on it, we'll see all comments as to-dos in the detail view. To keep track of the website's progress, we can now move the status to revision as we start editing. We can click on a package icon and be taken to the comment in the website builder. Back in the website builder, the element is highlighted and we can implement the feedback accordingly. Once we've made changes, we'll mark the to-do as completed. We can go through the to-dos one by one, making sure we integrate all feedback. For clients that prefer to make their own changes, such as adding new images or text, we can give them the option to update the website themselves. Here's how. Right-click an element to bring up a submenu. Find Editable for Customer near the bottom. This gives us three options. Edit only this element, edit all elements of the same type, or edit all elements on this page. In this instance, we'll choose all elements of the same type and save the website. Let's see how this looks from the client's perspective. From the customer portal, find the Edit Website button and click Edit Website. Like the feedback tool, the Edit Website option is only available when the site is in certain statuses like feedback. The client will have a restricted version of the website editor according to the edit permissions we provided them with earlier. The client can update and delete any of these elements. Once we update based on the customer's feedback and get their approval, we're ready to publish. Change the website status to publish. Get your hands on SiteJet today.